Hello, this is going to be a quick unboxing video of a surge protector from the company Belkin. This is not going to be re a review of this product. If you would like to see a review, please feel free to click out of this video and um, to check out some other videos about this product. We're just going to show you the instruction manual and show you kind of what the product looks like. Um, we're also going to plug it in, but again, this is not a review. So anyways, without further ado, we have this uh, instruction manual with some very small text with which talks about some installation instructions for this Belkin um, surge protector. As you can see, that's what it is. So we have these indicator lights. It's going to say there's a light that's called the protected light that should be on when the power is on. If this light is it goes out at any time, it means that your surge protector was sacrificed to protect your equipment and should be replaced. So what that tells you is kind of what a surge protector is for. It's supposed to, ideally it's supposed to, um, my understanding is that it's supposed to protect your electronics from a surge or a spike. Don't know if there's a distinction there. Surge or spike in power so that your electronics are not damaged if something happens that causes the, the power to go up. Um, so I guess having this kind of wall between the outlet in your wall and your electronics is going to hopefully save your electronics. But again, this is not a review. This is just um, kind of just seems to be describing what a surge protector is for. There's another, there's going to be another indicator light it says not grounded light. Sh this light, not grounded light should not be on. If this light turns on. You may have a ground wiring problem in your home and you should kind of, okay. So the protected light should be on and the not grounded light should not be on. So obviously when we plug that in, the product should be working fine, hopefully right out of the box. That's what's going to show. So anyways, you got this very uh, small, well, maybe not the smallest box, but here you go. There's a, there's a very long cable here, as you can see, and then you've got your, this is just all one piece. Uh, oops, sorry about that. Let's just move this back. Okay, so as we, as we said, the company is called Belkin, B-E-L-K-I-N, and you've got your, okay, I guess we're going to have to turn it over here. Okay, so... There it is. We have this protected light that should be on according to the instructions and this not grounded light, which should not be on. So we're going to plug it in and see that that is going to be the case when, when it's right out of the box, not using anything and not broken. So here is your, um, here's your device. As you can see, there are eight spots, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four for the outlets, uh, I mean for the uh, devices that you can plug in. So, and we're just going to take this off right now, just really quickly. Uh, sorry about that. Okay, that's, that's one, there's one, and then the other one is going to be right here. Okay, so as you can see here, there's, there's, it's quite a long cable that can that will go from your um, your plug uh, right here into the device so we're just going to actually now that we have that we're gonna okay first thing we're gonna show you is that if you have like for example some of these <clears throat> cell phone chargers that look like this it doesn't just go straight into the outlet like that it's, it's got like kind of a, they're kind of big and bulky then obviously if you're if you're plugging it in like this, right like that let's say you plug it in like that it might obscure uh let's see yeah yeah so it might kind of obscure another outlet right you see that <laughs> so you just kind of have to make sure yeah i don't know if you're going to be using eight all at the same time but keep in mind that if it's something like this for a cell phone i guess you can try to again if you do it like this Again, you're obscuring the other one. So it doesn't necessarily mean that you'll have room to use all eight of them at the same time, but it, it does give you that option if you space them out correctly and if they're not all kind of like this so they don't obscure other, um, other outlets. Anyways, so now we're just going to, um, and that we've taken it out of the box, we're just going to go over here and we're going to plug it in. To show you what that looks like. Oh, okay. So, yeah, so it's a very long uh, cable here. So, okay, we got that. 
Okay, let's just one second. Okay, so now we've got our device here. We're going to just plug it into the outlet right here. So as you can see, it's kind of angled. So I guess that's so it doesn't obscure, so it doesn't obscure the bottom uh, outlet. So it seems to be angled like that. So we're just going to, just going to plug it in like that. Okay, there we go. Perfect. So as you can see here, um, uh, we plugged in, it does not obscure the bottom outlet, that's good. I don't know why this isn't turned on yet, it should, uh, maybe that's because we haven't plugged anything in, that's why the, the indicator light is not on, because it said something about this protected light supposed to be on, supposed to be on. Um, it's not, <clears throat> but maybe that's because we haven't, um, plugged anything in yet, maybe that's why, I don't know if we're supposed to plug something in for that light to turn on. I don't know. Let's just see. Um, uh, hold on a second. What the? No. Okay, well, hmm. how are we supposed to turn this on exactly? Any instructions here? What are we supposed to do? Oh, of course. Sorry. My apologies. <clears throat> Just noticed. Maybe I should have read the instructions. Okay, so it says, it says off right there. Don't know if you can see it. It says off. Right now it is off. Now I guess you're just going to have to, to, to press, turn it on. Let's try that. See, okay, now it's on. There we go. There's our light. Okay. That was what we didn't do. We, we didn't find the on off switch. So obviously off. It's off right now. This protected light will be on once we turn it on. There we go. It's on. So you're all good to go. So there is an on off switch. And here is the Belkin Surge Protector. This is not a review. This is just to show you what the product looks like right out of the box. And so far, um, you've got a lot of room for, you've got room for quite a few outlets. In this case, eight. There's 2,500 joules is, I guess, the maximum uh, in terms of energy. 2,500 joules, eight outlets. This is the Belkin surge protector. Um, and that's all there is. Not, not much to take out of the box. And uh, maybe we'll make a review. Well, maybe we might make a review some other time. But for now, uh, that is all we can say about this. Not much here. And I, of course, before buying one, I would recommend reading reviews on Amazon. This one we bought for around um, $20 uh, before it uh, tax and shipping. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.